Hello, everyone. Welcome to Subway Black Excellence. I'm your digital host, Carlton T. Clay. My next guest, she is the owner of Humana Treehouse, but she is now the new executive director of the Greater Augusta Arts Council. I present to you Denise Tucker. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling about everything? Scared and excited. <laughs> Both scared and excited. Yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. Again, congratulations again. Thank you for being here. Before we get into that, um, some people may know, some people may not know, but again, you are the owner of Humanity Tree House. How long have you guys been in existence? Um, my husband and I have owned Humanity Tree House for the last, we're into the 11th year now. Awesome. Awesome. And what was the reasoning for creating Humanity Tree House? Um, well, actually, when my husband moved here from New York, he wanted to open a gallery and I was already juicing and cooking for people that were cancer patients. Mm. And we just decided to marry our passions. And although I was working a full time job, did not want to leave my job. But my husband was very persuasive and we decided to open a juice bar and it just kind of evolved from that. Awesome. Now, let's talk about your new position before we get into that. How long have you, have you been a part? Because you've been a part of the Great Augusta uh, Arts Council. How long have you been a part of, of the council? I have been officially a part of the council as an employee for three years. Mm -hmm. I was hired on a small project called AEP6, which is the Arts and Economic Prosperity Survey Study. Um, I got hired to do that. And as I was working, they actually needed a development manager. Um, they hired, Brenda hired me as a development manager. Our admin person resigned and I took on development membership and admin. Uh, our public art manager designed and she says, well, you know, you can do this too. Mm -hmm. And then I um, took on the public art, pro well, not project. I became the public art manager of the Greater Augusta Arts Council. When her position became available and she said she was going to retire, um, I just naturally, I applied, mm -hmm. you know, I think she may have had an opportunity at some point to name her successor, but I just thought, we all thought that it would be better that there was a search committee. There was a search committee. There were tons of applicants. I applied and I was hired, selected and hired. Nice, nice. Well, again, congratulations. Um, I just want you to know it's, it's a big deal because again, you are the first African-American executive director of the, of the Arts Council. So it's a big deal. And I, and I truly believe that representation is important. There are people that are watching you and they're like, you know what, if she can get get there and it's, it can inspire somebody else, too. So, again, congratulations. Thank you. So Thank you. Um, if you can, what what do you want to see like moving forward now that you are the executive director? Well, I'm a visionary leader, so I you know, I like to I want to see change. I mean, I don't believe in trying to fix something that isn't broken, but I do think that it, it is time to expand our reach. Um, people don't know the difference between an arts council and an artist guild. And, you know, council is a little bit different. We do advocate for artists, but we are not centrally artist focused only for the artists. We are organizations, nonprofit organizations. What I would like to see is us grasp the attention and start to um, cater to more genres of art. On the outside, people tend to think that we are visual arts focused, which we do a lot for visual arts. But I would like to see more music, more dance more theater. I would even like to see at some point culinary because it's an arts as well. Um, but just to encompass more arts, reach more artists, um, give a little bit more transparency so they can understand what we do. And then we can learn how to advocate for them. There are a lot of people that think the Arts Council is just for arts in the heart, but Ooh. you guys do so much more. Can you please talk to us we about are, all that you all do? Yes, we are busy all the time. One, we are an official regranting agency. So we have like right now, the city grants is available, and that is for arts nonprofits. It provides um, funds for either operations or projects for them. Um, last year, I was over the individual artist grants from the NEA, which where we um, gave grants to individual artists through the National Endowment for the Arts. So we re-grant, we have uh, private view art shows all throughout the year. We, we um, we put the show up at the gallery showing at the city arts, the city gallery and the municipal building, Augusta and Co. Um, of course, we do our annual wet paint party. We have annual awards, which I'm hoping that at some point will become a gala, but it's our annual awards, um, awards night. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, gosh, legislative lunching. We, we storm drain murals. We have public art projects that happen all throughout the year. We are busy all the time. So it is not just 
you know, for Arts and Heart. We have an artist directory for our members. So if you're looking for an artist that paints murals, you can go to our directory, you can search our artist members and find them. And it's open to anybody, not just, um, not just visual artists. Mm -hmm. But we are, we're busy. Yes. We, we, we <laughs> yeah, we, we, listen, we, we see you guys and we definitely appreciate all that you do for the arts community. So thank you, not just to you, but to the entire, to entire council. Thank you. Now, if someone wants to be a part of the Greater Augusta Arts Council, how can they do so? So our website is um, AugustaArts.com, and there's a little button on there that says membership. I do think that sometimes people don't understand. I mean, it does list the benefits on there, but I encourage people, especially with me in this new role, just to get a better understanding, just call me. Just reach out. Call the Arts Council. I will talk you through it. I will tell you what the benefits are. Um, and I'll find out from you how we can advocate for you and your genre of art. But it's very simple. It's very inexpensive for artist members. Artist members are $35 a year. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, that's, you know, we have a lending library where you, okay, you do theater. We have a camera that you can borrow. We have Marley. We have audio visual equipment. Um, and we do that on, on loan. That's just one part of our membership. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Um, visit our website. Awesome. Is there anything else that you want to add? No, I just want people to understand that we are a small nonprofit. I think that because we are a public facing nonprofit, when I look at the internet, I look at especially Facebook, you know, Facebook has been going off. Um, when I look at it, people tend to look at us like a government agency or like a city organization. And we are not. Mm -hmm. We are a small nonprofit. We have three employees. Once Brenda leaves, there's three of us. So we have three employees. We're a small nonprofit. Um, we small nonprofit that works on big projects. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to understand what we do. We are public facing, but we are a private nonprofit organization. Well, cool. Denise, thank you so much for sharing all that information. Um, again, congratulations. Thank you. This is, again, this is huge. I, I want you to know that this is huge. And again, people are watching and we are so excited for you and we are rooting for you and supporting you in this new role. Thank you. Please reach out to me. Like I, I need to know what the artist and the community wants to see. And there's a survey on my page. If you are creative, go fill it out. Okay. Awesome. Denise, thank you so much again. Thank you for having me. No problem. All right, everyone. This is Celebrate Black Excellence. I'm Carlton T. Clay. Well, we celebrate Black Excellence every day. Have a good one.